opportunity. It's up to you to seize it. Get this low mileage lease on this 2016 ATS from around $289 per month. Visit your Valley Cadillac dealer. Nothing finishes off a great outfit like the perfect handbag. At Ross, you'll find the latest styles for a fraction of what you'd pay elsewhere. You could buy this beautiful studded bag at a department store. But if you want it for a lot less, you've got to go to Ross. Show prep. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see your show prep. Now, on Facebook this morning, Ben. Are you so shaking the marks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Takes a lot to get Rick ready. Look at all that makeup. That's a makeup collection. If you That's take a look you, at this uh, show prep on my Facebook page, Beth, <laughs> somebody is walking around with one false eyelash on right now. <laughs> no. Have you seen well, the box see. of lashes she has? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying anything because I got them on too, but I'm just saying. In the morning, I'm going to look here. <laughs> Yeah, you checking? You checking on your yes. phone? Yes, <laughs> I'm looking. I'm ty I'm typing as you can well, see. Well, you're on my personal. Um, <clears throat> oh yes. Yeah, so that's oh, like that's a right. woolly bear <laughs> collection. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, when you, you do look like tarantula. You just have to spread them out. They actually used to scare my kids. What are you, what like, are you <laughs> checking on, Beth? Like a Commodore computer here? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I went to the wrong page. I do know that when I first asked you for to be a friend, I asked uh, the wrong Rick D'Amico. Yeah, there's a guy in another state. It was like yeah. it wasn't the. Uh, Toyota dealer in Pennsylvania, was it? I don't, was a Honda dealer I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, only got 30 seconds to oh. tell you about this. Uh, some need to focus more on how to do their jobs, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, you know, now we're all right. around the country. In that case. Uh, Kent Online reports that Paul Neverson was convicted recently for bank robbery. Oh. He gone to a NatWest bank, pointed a knife at the cashier, and demanded that money either be placed on the table or into his account. So oh, he gave him options. Okay. <laughs> Here's the deal. Yeah. Here's my name. We just yeah. need some ID. In my account, and I'll just withdraw it for later. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Beth. Right. Coming up at 7 okay, o'clock, Fox 10 News at 7, Arizona Morning Rolls On. You're watching Fox 10 AZAN with Ron Wood, oh. Rick D'Amico, Andrea Robinson, Celeste Rodriguez, and Corey McCloskey in HD. All right, as we hit the air at 7 a.m., the suspected freeway shooter back in a courtroom today as his lawyers argue. But they've been waiting for tantos days for Larry. Ya le habían dado libertad. Anda, entonces con lo que pesa, tú no puedes. Si a ti, a ti también es cierto y ya se le cae el sombrero. Got that too. Yeah, She's like, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Sorry, April. That's right. We'll uh, switch gears on here and talk about the weather. It's going to be hot out there today. We're tracking some warm temperatures. Uh, for this new week, uh, we're going to continue these seasonably, uh, unseasonably warm temperatures we saw over the weekend, but we're going to crank it up a little bit this afternoon. To sightsee, take a look at this video. Grab your wingsuit and just go soaring. Later this hour, we'll chat with this thrill seeker about his latest flight. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy! You can stack up all the daredevils in the world, and those guys are going to be very near the top. <laughs> that is impressive. Uh, today 90 for your afternoon high it's not going to last much longer though the heat is going to be and yet you won't want to miss combination of a number of things that he's having trouble with one i think his name obviously as many people have talked about to his presentation the way that he's campaigned and you saw that in the clip before and then three this this issue environment is not a good saturday there on the top right and as we watch this storm moving through you know terminal that's what we've got here from the CFTC data these are net longs going back about a year uh, from hedge funds and you can see the downtick that we've had in the most recent spot yeah it was locked it was quite see people actually running out of office buildings uh, trying to get to a place neighborhood and they arrived around 5 30 this morning we're told that they're searching for a man after 
His girlfriend said that he assaulted her early this morning and then took off. We're told that she does not need any medical attention. The boyfriend is not believed to be armed, so no threats in the neighborhood. We have seen kids walking to the school bus and cars coming and going, so the neighborhood does not seem to be on lockdown, but they are still searching for that man. So I talked to a police officer. He says that they're still searching a couple of streets uh, before they take off. You can see that turquoise and ironwood are blocked off. So uh, we'll continue to update you with the latest information. But again, they are searching for a boyfriend whose girlfriend claims that he assaulted her early this morning around 530 off 67th Avenue in Peoria. Back to you. All right, Courtney, thanks. Well, the accused freeway shooter, Leslie Merritt Jr., heads into court today as attorney. The ongoing tension began back in February when Douglas tried to fire the board's executive staff. Douglas on lowered and to allow some new witnesses to testify. Nobody's even voting till till February. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there's a long been following the Gulfport, Mississippi area, too, because that's now one of the new regions that this rain is moving into on your candidate's behalf. And what it hasn't done is it hasn't moved those numbers up at, uh, in any conflict with Douglas's own role. That Shootings. He said that he had pawned the weapon. The judge isn't expected to rule, though, on whether new witness. More on what, if anything, is ex decided for the future of education here in Arizona. Back to you. All right, we'll be watching. Thank you, Jill. Well, meanwhile, state lawmakers are expected to learn the details of a settlement deal today that will resolve a lawsuit over school funding. For weeks now, the governor's office, Republican leaders, and schools have been trying to negotiate a Nine hours. The woman, who's 33, was rushed to the hospital with life threat. Certainly people want to tune in to see what the guy's going to say yeah, because he's not predictable from one moment to the next. And I think that's something that really is working to Donald Trump's advantage. People are curious about the guy. Absolutely. Uh, they sure are. And they're turning out in big numbers. Steve, thank you very much. Thanks, we'll see Martha. where it goes. Got another Fox News alert because there was brand new video released of that daring rescue that freed more than 70 hostages from the clutches of ISIS and left an American hero dead in Iraq. This is a pre-dawn raid captured on a body camera. You can see hostages coming out one after the other, hands in the air as gunshots ring out in the background at the prison where they were being held. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin live in the Pentagon. Fascinating video here. Why did the Pentagon decide to release this now? What does it say? What does it prove? Well, Bill, the Pentagon did not release the video from inside the compound. I'm told it came from Kurdish sources who provided it to media outlets overseas. It and hanging around for years. I mean, it was filed in the year 20. To release the video this weekend, constant gunfire, as you mentioned, rings out in the background of the footage, which shows special operators pulling hostages out of the cells. The black flag of ISIS is in the background. The prisoners. It's a deal. He's not going to announce the terms of it until he gets a chance to brief the members of his caucus, uh, which will happen either today or tomorrow there at the state capitol. And then shortly after that, we should start to get some answers. There's no word whether it may have anything to do with the fact that the state's finances are dramatically improving as our economy improves, and there's a lot more sales tax coming into the state. A big day, a big three-day event begins in this uh, morning. It's dedicated. I, I well, it's that. remarkable stuff. I mean, we do not see this, uh, especially on camera like this. Uh, over the weekend, the remains of Master Sergeant Joshua Wheeler returned home. What happened there, Jennifer? Well, that's right. Master Sergeant Joshua Wheeler became the first U.S. casualty in Iraq since U.S. forces pulled out in 2000. And was hidden behind some bushes, and it looks like she... Just to make sure that people aren't actually breaking the law, the only marijuana that's legal in Arizona is medical. Así es, muchachos, vamos a dar inicio con esta noticia porque edificios colapsan. Al clausurar el owners hoping to be named this year's best in show. About 250 dogs came out. Some of the costume highlights included a Back to the Future dog. Uh, I think that's him right there, huh? Uh, and a pizza rat dog. That would appear to be a Pope dog. 
right there. So I think they've... Or a bishop. Yeah, oh, look at that. Bishop, Home yeah. priest. For, yeah. yeah. Uh, this year's winner, by the way, was a ch uh, two Chihuahuas, and there was a Yorkshire Terrier as well with their Dia de las Muertas theme Muertos. costume. I love, I love to just say that. Dia de las Muertas. I like to go uh, Halloween, uh, Halloweening yes. with my cat. And then and tell everybody that it's really my dog that has a cat costume. Oh. <laughs> would, that be, would that work, you think? <laughs> sure. Does Phantom walk on a leash? Uh, no, Phantom just does whatever he wants. I was going to say. Yeah. He kind of lives a life. <laughs> well, I'll say. Wouldn't you like to come back as Phantom as a, one as day? As a cat, right? Yeah, now. any cat Sleep for that all matter. Day long. I know. Sleep wherever you want, eat when you want, whatever. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Uh, traffic right now. It's not terrible. However, we've got some pretty thick delays out there on the freeways. As far as the accidents are concerned, they're not all that major. Uh, we've got this accident still reported on the 202 at 32nd Street. The delays on the 202 right now are just typical morning delays. They're not associated with this accident at all. As you continue in toward the mini stack, you'll just see an increase in traffic there. There's also a new accident on the 202 just past the 101. So that transition point is going to be a little tight as you get on to the 202 and past that accident. I-10 this morning at 43rd Avenue. We've got a crash there. This was reportedly a hit and run accident. DPS is out there. Uh, it's not affecting traffic. It's off to the far right shoulder of the road. However, at the 10 through West Phoenix, super thick this morning, starting back at about 91st Avenue all the way in toward downtown Phoenix. And then up on the 101, 51st Avenue, you've got a crash there through Northwest Glendale. It's off to the right shoulder. But let me take you outside and I'll show you what's going on as a result of that. There's the accident. You can see they just look like they're waiting on a tow truck or two to uh, haul those cars away. However, there were no injuries reported with this. The inbound lanes very slow this morning from about 59th Avenue, 67th Avenue, heading in toward North Phoenix. All right, it's uh, nine minutes after seven o'clock. Fox 10 weather alert. Cleanup efforts are underway along Mexico's Pacific coast oh. after hurricane. <laughs> displayed or given away at this expo. This expo is about the industry. And the Republicans on the bank and given over 10 million Chairman Gowdy saying a public setting was all Secretary Clinton's idea. So would a private meeting have been more productive? Plus, for the seventh time this year, a high school football player dies from an injury on the field. You understand the risk morning with more on the storm there. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Rick and Andrea. Yeah, uh, Patricia, what a nice sounding name, wreaking havoc really all over the golf.